Patreon members, I want to thank you guys for your support and contributions made to the platform. It really means a lot to me. I have another article for you guys on Asia Now. Canadian tourists robbed during night in Pattaya Hotel. Now, if you guys don't know, I used to live in Thailand for five years. All right. I've seen articles like this over and over and over again. Most of the times, these Western foreign guys, they're getting robbed by, uh, you know, Thai ladyboy prostitutes, Thai female prostitutes. In this case, this man was robbed by two African women. There are other nationalities over in Thailand that are out there on the whole stroll. All right. So a Canadian tourist relaxing night turned alarming when two Ugandan women allegedly stole his cash while he slept in his Pattaya hotel room. I don't see anything here talking about being drugged or anything. So most of the time when you read these articles, uh, you know, the, the Western guy is getting drugged. Um, I've seen where, you know, they'll have them on CCTV, uh, a man, you know, leading or, or walking up to his room with either one or two prostitutes, uh, many cases being lady boys. And then, you know, CCTV will show them running out of the room and it, it's, it's, you know, they don't wake up till 12 hours later. It's always drugs and everything was stolen from them. So it doesn't sound like they use drugs. He just dozed off and they took some, some money from him. John Burry, immigration police have recently arrested two Uganda nationals, Miss Mariam, age 38, and Miss Sheba, age 28, at a hotel in the Cal Patamnak area of South Pattaya, John Burry province. Now, this woman right here with the dashiki and her braids, there's a lot going on under her dashiki. There's a lot going on. So, I know her alone. You know, her, her bosom alone looked like it could put any man to sleep. All right. The arrest follows an issuance of a warrant by the Pattaya Provincial Court on charges of jointly committing theft at night on June 17th. They were caught fairly quickly. The incident was reported by Mr. Khalid, the Canadian tourist who informed Bang Lamang Police Station that he had been robbed by the two women. Now... Mr. Khalid, he might be an East Indian Canadian. I don't know. Uh, now, not to snitch on anybody, but uh, people from the Indian diaspora, I'll just put it that way. Like, I know India and Sri Lanka are two different countries, but over from that region. And they're out there, Pattaya, heavy, right? Heavy, 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 heavy. <laughs> you know, with their money, you know, tricking heavy in Pattaya. All right. Um, the event unfolded on June 10th when he invited the two Ugandan women to his hotel room on Pattaya Naklu Road for a few drinks and to spend the night. He paid them 2,000 baht each for their time. All right. That's okay. That might have been the ongoing rate. There are women over it. Well, I've, I've never messed around with a prostitute, but I lived there long enough to know that, you know, a lot of women aren't even asking for 2,000 baht. Most Thai women don't even ask for 2,000 baht. You could talk them down to like 700 baht, 800 baht. Okay. And if you don't know the currency exchange with baht and US dollars, a uh, 1,000 baht is around about 30 US dollars. Okay. So he paid them. $60. Now, 2,000 baht, if you budget it correctly and you know how to portion control your food, I mean, that that that's damn near enough food for about, mm, that could last about 20 days, right? That's a, almost 20 days worth of food, depending on where you go to eat, because, you know, <clears throat> Some of these places, their plates are like 50 baht, even less, even cheaper than that. Mr. Khalid claims he eventually fell asleep upon waking, discovered 
well, upon waking, discovered that approximately 90,000 baht in Thai and foreign, foreign currency he had kept in his safe was missing. Now, why would you walk around with 90,000 baht? Right? And what kind of safe did you have? Obviously, you didn't have the uh, the little, what do you call it? The little dial, the old school dial safe. You know, you probably had the numerical <laughs> safe you had a pin code a four digit pin code that anybody could see over your shoulder how do i know that's happened bef before to me an ex of mine she got all up in my phone because i had that four digit pin code on my iphone years ago and that's too easy to break into anybody can see a four digit pin code over your shoulder hell some of these safes the the when you press the button it gives like a little sound and each sound, each number is different. Boop, beep, boop, boop. And it's like, okay, I'm looking for the boop, beep, boop, boop. And all I got to do is press around to hear that. So they got into a safe. He had 90,000 baht. Why wasn't it in your bank account? And let me give uh some advice to anybody who's thinking about traveling to thailand don't ever carry around that much money but at most carry around if you need to carry cash i would say carry around five thousand baht right maybe ten but really five thousand baht you could pay everything through card and if you need to spend money here and there i don't know Okay, I take that back. Ten thousand baht, because you might go to them little. I understand you go to the mall, you see them fancy restaurants, and you know th those that tab can come out to like two thousand baht. So I get it. And then you want to do other activities. I get it. Don't carry around more than ten thousand baht of cash on you. Really five, but ten thousand. See, I know where to go and how to play. With five thousand dot, well five thousand bot of cash on me, but ninety thousand bot, ninety thousand, what is that like twenty seven hundred U.S. dollars? <laughs> Probably like fifty grand in Canadian dollars. <laughs> I'm just joking, but despite the women's consistent denials, saying they had merely given the man a relaxing massage, evidence suggests otherwise. Okay, th there was some fucking going on in this room and there's nothing wrong with that police have combed through cctv footage and gathered other forms of evidence leading the firm believe that the women are responsible for the theft okay so blah 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 here's the thing man what what, what? It, did he do anything wrong no by law he didn't do anything illegal well technically it is illegal technically uh prostitution engaging in prostitutes get engaging with prostitutes and prostitution giving money in exchange for sex in thailand technically is illegal but it's allowed in thailand so in the eyes of the thai government if this didn't happen did anything go wrong no right Technically, were they all in the wrong? Yes, they all should be arrested. Um, because how do I know this? Because I remember one time, um, this was going on quite often, and the cops in Thailand they they staged like a whole photo op, to video op of them strolling through Walking Street in Pattaya, and they said, "Hey, you know, y'all keep on talking about." Y'all are getting robbed, dealing with these prostitutes. And, you know, we combed through the streets of Walking Street. We didn't see any signs of prostitution. So we don't know what you're talking about. So like, hey, you, you need to get your girlfriends under control. And it's like, are you serious? <laughs> I remember that a few years ago. It was an article that came out like, yeah, we didn't see any signs of prostitution. So we don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, so... Let's do air quotes. It's allowed. All right. So did he do anything wrong on what's allowed over there in that co country, over in that culture? 
No, he didn't do anything wrong. All right. The problem is we just have horrible hoes out here now. There's a lot of horrible hoeing going on out here. And a lot of backdoor hoeing going on out here, uh, you know, in the world, especially in Thailand, where whores are just, they're very ungrateful, right? If they see opportunity, cool. But the the goal of hoeing, like, first of all, you're not even from Thailand, right? A Thai woman can accept 2,000 baht. You know, okay, thank you. You know, can I get your number? When are you back in town? They keep tabs on the hoe, right? Some people, they get too greedy and they see, okay, he has way more in this safe. Let's rob him for it. And it's like, you're not a good hoe because you're from Africa. You're not even Thai, right? You went over to Thailand to start hoeing. That's a downgrade within itself. If you're going to go from Africa or, you know, it might be an upgrade, who knows, but if you're going to go from Africa, I wouldn't have gone to Asia for hoeing, but you see that, you know, go to Europe, go to Canada, <laughs> uh, it, it, go someplace else where the ongoing rate is going to be more than somebody's going to pay you more than $60 for, you know, having sex with you. All right. Somebody's going to pay you more than 2000 baht. Go someplace else. You over in Thailand as an African, a lot of people aren't thinking about dealing with Africans when they go to Thailand. They want to mess around with the Asian women there. Right. So you're probably not even making as much money as you would like. The ongoing rate is a little bit higher. Uh, you got too greedy. You're not even good enough to get up out the game, to find somebody that can get you up out the game. There's a lot of simping going on over in Pattaya anyways. At some point in time, you know, get yourself out the game. And if you can't deal with whatever, uh, you know, th th this is a business we're talking about here. You go to McDonald's and they're asking for $10 for the meal to prepare, to, to prepare a meal for you. And you want to jump the counter, all right? As a worker, you want to jump the counter and take more than $10 from the customer. You're going to get sued and your, your, your establishment is going to get shut down, all right? All right, carry yourself. If, if this is the business you got in, carry yourself as a business because now your reputation is shot. They're going uh, deport you. You're going back to Uganda. I don't know how much they paying for the box over there, but you got to start life all over again. And you probably getting banned from Thailand, right? There's different whole shows around Asia, like where a lot of prostitutes meet up at. Usually, I mean, they do Thai, in Thailand they do, but it's like women coming from Laos, Cambodia, Burma that go over to Thailand you know, the Philippines, they go over to Thailand, you know, to blend in, you know, but the other whole strolls that are a step above Thailand is like Malaysia. Uh, that, that's like a, a, a big whole hub, Hong Kong. That's a huge whole hub over there. Right. So, <sighs> Hey, look, Man, if you're going to get in that line of business, do good business, all right? You have to be the person. You see, you just, from what I'm seeing in this picture right here, y'all just showed up. Y'all just showed up, and that was it. You didn't have anything more to offer for this person to want to pay you 2000 baht, Right? You got to be so bad. When I mean bad, for those that don't know, you got to be that th that sexy to the point where somebody will say, hey, nah, this chick ain't worth 2000 baht. This chick is worth more than that. I'll give her 90000 baht, right? And you could be that woman. <laughs> you could be that woman. But that's a skill in itself that you got to be able to learn. And stealing and getting over on people, that's not how you're going to get access 
to a man's 90,000 bot, the honest way, the willing way, you know, just by whatever performance y'all gave in that room right there. You know, that's the difference between a street hoe and a high class woman, a high class escort, right? They're not even, they call escorts. They ain't even call hoes or prostitutes, even though that's what it is. They escorts, high class, right? The elite status. There's a difference, you know, and they certainly not built like Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street, even though there is a lot going on underneath that dashiki. Uh, look here. You weren't worth more than the 2000 body. You tried to rob him for 90,000. That's unacceptable. All right. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'm over and I'm out. Hit that subscribe button. You guys take care. Peace.